Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday I'm going to show you guys uh, some tips and tricks for copying objects, styles, layouts, uh, all kinds of stuff from one drawing to another. Uh, this can help speed up your workflow, quickly uh, match standards or styles from another drawing, and in general just save you a ton of time. So before we jumped into the video, I wanted to mention that it is November or Movember, and I've clean shaven for the first time in probably over seven years uh, in order to uh, join this year uh, and help raise awareness for uh, men's health issues like prostate cancer, testicular cancer, along with depression and suicide prevention among men. Uh, it's a great cause and organization and my office and group at work has created a team uh, where we're fundraising for them. So if you guys would like to help and support a great cause uh, and donate towards the Movember organization, uh, I'll put my team's link in the description below. Uh, anything is appreciated, even just a share of the link. Uh, and I hope you guys join in, grow a mustache yourself, uh, and thank you. Uh, let's jump into the video. So as I mentioned at the start, we're going to go through a few of my favorite and quickest tips for copying a variety of different uh, objects and styles from one drawing to another to help speed up your drafting. The first tip is using copy base point or copy with base point. This allows you to quickly copy objects from one drawing into another using a common base point. This will put them in the same location if you'd like or you can simply use a base point uh, that you select and then place them quickly into your drawing to use later at another in another location. Uh, so to use the command, you can type in copy base. You can also use the short uh, command holding down control, shift and C to bring up the copy base point. And you can simply select some objects. So I'm gonna bring in, let's say, these lights here along with this electrical line like that to the switch. I'm going to use copy base so control shift and hit C all holding down at the same time and it's going to ask you for a base point. From here you can simply choose a random base point or you can use 0 0 to bring it in in the exact same location. I'm just going to select right here next to it and that's done. These objects are now in your clipboard, if you're familiar with Word or other copying functions. So we can do whatever we're doing in here, go back to the drawing we want to bring these into, and now simply hit Control and then V for paste. And you can place this using the same base point that we chose before anywhere in your drawing. So you can see this is a referenced in version of that drawing. I can simply select a spot to place it and these objects are now in this drawing. So again, that is copy base or control shift and C to copy objects with a base point. Next up is the design center. So we're gonna hit AD and then center or ADC and enter. That's the design center dialog box. And you can see here that it's opened up the quickest way to use this is from moving objects from one drawing that's already open into another. This will let you bring objects like blocks, layouts, uh, dim styles, whatever you want from one drawing into another. So I use the open drawings tab here. So I clicked over and this will only show us the drawings that you have open. I find that to be a little quicker. I wanna bring from the floor plan into this drawing. So this is going to bring objects into the current drawing that you're in. So in my case, copy example, I want to bring some blocks into it from floor plan. So I'm going to click on the blocks down here and you can see it gives me the list of all of the blocks in the floor plan drawing. To bring them into your drawing, simply select one and right click and say insert block. It's going to 
pop up the dialog box like every other insert and you can simply select your options like where you want to insert it and hit OK. Now you can see I've got the blocks in my uh, at my cursor here and clicking will place it. This can also be used to quickly bring in layers from one drawing into another, dimension styles, layouts, line types, uh, leaders, textiles, xrefs, you name it. This is a super easy way to quickly move uh, styles, blocks, layers from one drawing to another, making it simple to keep a consistent style and look between multiple drawings. All right, so the third tip I was going to show you guys is another way to copy objects from either a block or an XREF into your drawing, and that's the N copy. So N C O P Y command. Hitting enter allows you to select nested objects. This would be an object like a line, a block, a piece of text that is in a nested object, like an extra. By selecting the objects, it allows us to bring them from the extra directly into our current drawing in the same location. This can be useful in a case like this where maybe I want to copy these labels and move them to the to another floor plan or maybe I want to just copy in the labels and then I can get rid of the xref and the labels or the blocks will stay in my current drawing. Once you've selected your objects simply hit enter it's going to ask for a base point again you can choose any base point and move them around to keep them exactly where they are simply hit enter and then hit enter again to use the 000 uh, as the displacement so you're not going to move them and then you're done. These objects are now in your drawing as well as in your XREF. So you've simply copied them from the XREF into your drawing, giving you both. So the last copy tip uh, is using insert to bring an entire drawing into your drawing uh, where you can then explode it and pull what you'd like from it or use that end copy uh, command within the block. So I'm going to show you what I mean here. So say we want to bring this entire floor plan drawing into my current drawing. So one way you can do that is right click up here, copy the full file path. Now we're just going to hit I for insert in this drawing. We're going to click browse. We're going to paste in that full path. And now it's going to have our floor plan drawing all ready to uh, be inserted into the drawing. You can choose an insertion point or you can uncheck it to put it in the exact same coordinates and location as in the original drawing. I'm gonna choose to just place it somewhere. I can now choose where I want to place it. So I'm going to zoom out here and I'm just gonna place that drawing over here. So now we've got a block of the floor plan drawing. You can explode it, you can leave it as it is, you can use end copy to steal or copy objects from it into your drawing, uh, but it's right there in here as a block to scale. Uh, so now you've copied all of those objects. Sometimes it's just a block or a piece of text that you want, um, but it can save you a lot of time from opening the drawing, messing around with it. This brings everything in uh, easily and quickly. That's all for today's tip video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you'd like to help support the November Movember cause, I'll put that link in the description as well. Thanks and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.